Hey folks, so uh, next up, we're going to make the coffee cup. What did the coffee say to the other coffee? Where you been? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully my uh, tutorial is a little bit better than that joke. Um, but um, yeah, so next up in uh, the part design using Part Studios tutorial series, uh, we're gonna make a coffee cup. Now what's gonna be different about this, we're gonna be using a couple of the different um, planes. Um, we're also going to be um, using uh, some of the skills that we've already learned so far. So we're definitely gonna be using Revolve. Um, we're probably also gonna be using uh, Sweep at some point. Um, and I'm just going to hop in isometric. We are going to start a sketch on the front plane. So let's hop into front view. And that's our step one. Uh, we're working in millimeters as we have been before. And I'm going to grab our line tool. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start making the general outline of a mug. Because um, again, we're making a coffee cup. And then I'm going to make um, a tangent arc from this point to this point. Um, so the whole goal here is that um, this line, uh, or this arc is tangent to this line right here. Um, now we've got to make one more line. We've got to make a line that is a construction line popping off the top. And that's pretty much our step two. Um, our next step is to throw some dimensions on us. So if I hit front, maybe zoom out a little bit. What we're going to do we are going to dimension from this point to this point. So boom, whoops, hit that twice by accident there to there. And we're going to make this a diameter dimension. And I'm going to make this 125 millimeters. Next up, this radius right here should be 90. I'm just going to work my way down. Um, from here to here should be 40. So we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Um, that inclined a little steeper. This line is 100, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, we got 100 right there. And then finally, uh, we got to make another diameter dimension. So I'm going to click on this bottom point. I'm going to click on my construction line. And then I have another diameter here. This is supposed to be 75. So we're getting something that looks a little bit more like the profile of a coffee cup. Now our next step, um, we're going to use offsets. So remember the wrapper that you don't want to be looks like Snoopy up here. Um, and we're going to offset this line this line, and this line. Now I'm going to flip the offset so it's on the inside, uh, and it needs to be six. Um, so I was able to get six there. I can hit enter. And what you'll notice, I've constrained all of these lines. They're defined, so they're black. But I still have a blue point here and a blue point right there. So that means those two uh, points aren't defined, so we're going to add some constraints. We're going to use a coincident constraint, and this is still step four. And we're going to click on this point and this line. So that's a defined point now. Uh, this point down here, this line here, now we're all defined. The only blue point should be maybe on your construction line. That is step four. We just made an offset. Again, little Snoopy made it six millimeters offset on the inside. And then we made these points coincident to these lines on either side here. Um, so that's step four. We can hop. Um, up here and we can rename this main sketch and we can close it and that is our good old step five. Step six, if we hop into isometric view, uh, we should just be able to revolve our main sketch around our axis, which is our construction line, and boom, we have the start of our coffee cup. What I'm going to do down here, down in parts, I'm just going to rename it, uh, call it coffee cup because everything we do is either going to be like an extrude add or an extrude remove to this coffee cup, something of that sort. Or at least we're going to be adding things together as we make, say, a sweep for our handle. That's step seven. And then step eight, we need to make a new sketch, and it needs to be on our front plane. So I'm going to choose sketch and make it on the front plane. I can hop back into my front view. And... Uh, what we're going to start doing is making the handle. So uh, step nine is starting to draw um, some sort of handle uh, popping out of the side of the mug. So uh, first step, I'm going to draw a line. And I'm just going to start it on the inside. You can see it started it like right about here. 
I'm going to start it on the inside of uh, the mug. And I'll bring it like roughly out here. It kind of doesn't matter where it is just yet. Um, and then I'm going to hit enter. We'll get a dimension in a little bit. And I'm going to hit tangent. And I'm going to create a tangent arc that goes from um, our point here on our line to uh, somewhere out here. Now, uh, the next step for us is to make a quick construction line. So L and Q if you want. And we are going to make that construction line here. Now, it says that this point needs to be on the midpoint of this line. Now, um, we might be able to make this point coincident to this line. And that looks about right now. That should be the midpoint. So that's step nine. We drew a line. Uh, I don't know if I actually need this dimension just yet. We might have to delete that, actually. Um, we drew a tangent arc, and then we made a construction line, and then we made the point, the center point of our arc, the, uh, we made it coincident to the center point of our construction line. Um, so once we have that, that's step nine. We can move on to step 10, and now we can actually start to dimension this thing. The dimension that I had before, yeah, we, we don't want that. I'm going to dimension from this bottom point to here. I'm also going to dimension from this top point here to here. And then we need a radius. Now, I'm not going to edit these yet, because actually what I need to do is turn on our main sketch and turn off our part. I want to be able to see inside that original sketch we made. What we need to do next is make some points coincident to each other. So this point right here needs to be coincident to this line right here. This point right here needs to be coincident to this line right here. And now we can actually start working on our dimensions. I'm gonna make this radius here 20. This height here should be 85. And this height right here should be 25. Now, again, I hit our coffee cup. We can bring it back in a moment or two. Um, but this is slide 10. And what we're going to do in a moment, I believe, is we're going to make a sweep on this line right here. So our next step is to rename this as path. And we can hit the good old check. That's step 11. And we need to create um, some sort of plane. So again, we can have a profile that sweeps along this path. So uh, we're going to make a new plane. Uh, we're going to do it a little bit differently than we've done it previously. So we're going to click plane. And then in the drop down here, uh, we actually want, uh, what is it, line point or plane point? Uh, excuse me, curve point. Um, so our entities here, we want this point and this line. And what you'll see is it makes a plane that's perpendicular to this line. And it's on this point. So we can actually draw a profile on here that we can sweep up and around. Um, so um, this plane, we're going to just keep it named as plane one. Uh, we can go ahead and hit next. And now we're on um, step 13. Um, I'm going to just turn some stuff off because it looks a little confusing. I'm going to turn off all my planes just so I can only see plane one. And I'm going to start a sketch on plane one. I'm going to make an ellipse is what we want to do. And I'm going to make the ellipse based around that point right there, the end of my, my uh, path. Uh, I'm going to hit enter so I can at least try to get some sort of dimension in there. Um, and then once that's set, we can do a dimension in our width and a dimension in the height. Uh, I should just be able to hit this edge. It looks a little bit more normal. Now, according to the tutorial, this is going to be 10, our height, and this is going to be 14, our width. And again, we just need to make sure that the center point is coincident with uh, the point that we based our plane off of. So um, this looks good. I'm going to rename this profile just so we get the lingo right. And I can actually turn off this plane. I don't need to see this plane now. And if I'm not mistaken, our next step, I'm going to hop into isometric mode right now, is to uh, sweep this. So we're going to sweep this uh, along our uh, path. 
So we're on step 14. We've closed our profile sketch, and now we're gonna hit sweep in step 15. So we should be able to hit sweep. What are, what's the faces that we're gonna, what's the face, I guess, is what we could say that we're gonna sweep? It's our ellipse that we just made. And then our sweep path, we can just click on path over here, and now we have um, a uh, handle. But what we wanna do now, we actually wanna add it to something. We're gonna actually add it to our coffee cup. So I have merge scope clicked right now. I'm gonna click coffee cup, and if I hit check, they should be added together, and now I just need to turn my coffee cup back on. So now we have a handle on our coffee cup. Look at that. And that is step 15. Um, step 16, we got to start playing around with uh, actually making this thing hollow. So we could potentially put some liquid in it if we wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So uh, what I'm going to do in order to get that right, uh, I am going to do a uh, revolve again. And we want to do a revolve remove. Our axis is going to be our good little uh, construction line that we made earlier. And the face that we want to uh, remove is actually this face right here. So I just turned off coffee cup again, hit the eye on coffee cup. We want to remove this area if we were to revolve it. And it's yelling at us because it doesn't know what we want to remove it from. So our merge scope now is coffee cup. And let's show the coffee cup because this is what we want. Again, what is the, the face or region we want to revolve? It's that inner area when we made that offset in our sketch for our main sketch. What's the revolve axis? It's highlighting our little uh, construction line that we made earlier. And then the merge scope, when we do a remove, we want to remove this revolve from our coffee cup. Hopefully that you can follow along with that and that kind of makes sense. So that's step 16. Earlier, I was telling you about fillets. We did that uh, in one of our, our uh, I think, the loft exercise. Um, fillets are something that usually I traditionally do um, after we've made a model. Um, and again, they give us like a nice gentle curve um, where there's maybe a sharp edge. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to use the fillet tool for the first time. It's this here. Shift F is the, the shortcut. And I'm going to click on this bottom circle right here. And actually, I'm going to go inside. Ooh. Do I need to hit escape? What did I hit? Oh, no. Oh, no. OK, there we go. Little technical difficulties. I think my trackpad just went a little haywire there. OK, so we're going to hit fill it. I'm going to hit this bottom circle. And then if I can drag up here, I'm going to hit the inner circle. Hopefully you can see that. This is on the inside now. Um, and now you can see it's adding like a gentle curve to um, that edge. Um, right here, we uh, want to make our radius 12 millimeters is what it says. Um, tangent propagation, I don't think really matters. Um, that's just a new option these days. Um, and cross section circular is fine. Um, radius is what matters. And again, I clicked that bottom edge and the inner edge. Once we hit check here, and if I turn off my main sketch, you'll see we have a nice like gentle slope on the bottom there. Um, what we also want to do is make it so that the top of the coffee cup has a nice little fillet to it. This will be easier for us to do. Um, and if we click on our fillet tool again, we can click on this inner ring and this outer ring. Um, and it'll yell at us, um, but that's easy. Uh, we just need to change this radius to something smaller. Two should work. And this just makes it so, like, again, if this thing were to actually be utilized, it has some softer edges. So you don't have, like, a sharp edge that you're sipping up against. That kind of completes the coffee cup. Um, the next step, yeah, we already have the part name, so it would be assigning material. Um, most coffee cups that you get are made out of porcelain. So porcelain, P-O-R... C E L O P O R C E L A I N. Whew. And then we can hit check. Now, uh, I'm also going to do something different. I'm going to edit the appearance. I have a hot pink uh, coffee mug at home. I don't know if I can get the pink that I like. Um, and I don't feel like adding too much. Let's see. Can I add more of this? 2 and 30. Uh, 255. Yeah, that's a little bit better. 
Um, so I got my pink mug. Next step would be to select this and hit the mass properties, do whatever self check they have after um, our good old slide 20. Um, let me know as always if you have any questions um, or problems. Feel free to like this video, subscribe if you like um, the stuff that I'm coming out with. Um, and do I have another coffee joke for you? Yes, I do. Um, why did the coffee taste like mud? Because it was ground a few minutes ago. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you with that. Um, next time we're going to move off onto wheel rim, um, and then we'll be off the step, and then we'll be done with this part of um, On Shape Fundamentals CAD. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you. Take care now. All right, bye-bye.